Um, and so I just thought I would do a little bit of a chit chat as I am making the desk. I'm not sure how successful it's going to be. So if you don't see this video, well, you're not going to know the difference anyway. But if you do see this video, give me some grace. Um, if I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I just thought I would have a little catch up about um, where I am on my homeschooling journey. Um, and I'm slightly distracted too because obviously I'm building the desk. Um, but overall, we have been using, for those who don't know, we have been using a curriculum called the good and the beautiful. Actually, I think you know what the thing piece I'm looking for is right here. We have been using the good and the beautiful. Yeah, it is the one I'm looking for. <laughs> We've been using the good and the beautiful. And it is a. Oh, he's fine. Oh, maybe he's just arriving, so I might not do the chit chat. And um, we have been. Hey, Bill, I'm just a cute. <laughs> We have been, um, it's a Christian curriculum that is, <laughs> that is created by a lady called Jenny Phillips and she's Mormon and so, I mean, I looked into it, we're not Mormons, <laughs> we are Christians, I felt happy to um, go for it. I do feel right now that the, I mean, education value, like I feel like if anyone's seen my flick throughs, it's definitely at a higher level than what those similar age range um, would be at in regular school. So I think, careful, excuse me. They, um, from that perspective, they are very strong. Um, this is, these are the sides, so I'm just trying to find, I'm just trying to set them up properly before we start screwing stuff so we get to it on. Um, it's a side of a desk. Yes, it is a side of the desk. <laughs> <laughs> so, their strengths are that there is definite progression. It is a high standard. Um, and for homeschool moms like me, for her here, for homeschool moms like me, um, who, I want to homeschool, but I also don't want to, I'm not confident enough in my own ability to Whoa. find non-curriculum activities that are oh. for proper age and stage. I'm happy to choose um, supplementary items. I'm really happy to do that, especially with the readers and stuff, as you've heard in my other videos. Um, but for an actual curriculum for writing... Um, for, no sweetie, please don't just put them in, in holes. For writing, um, I do want an actual curriculum. So that's where the strength is. Let me just I figure out these holes. One, two. Oops. Because they won't go in here. I think I have the wrong piece. Do I have the wrong piece? One, two. You know what? No, give me one of these pieces, maybe. Let me have a look at those. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe it's upside down. Upside down. Yeah, yeah, it's upside down. Okay, so what I want in the curriculum is that it is at a correct level, that it is moving forward, that I can see progression, and especially when it comes to, um, you can start screwing these, sweetheart. Yeah. When it comes to here, so I'll just put them here where where they're supposed to be, and you can just screw them. Um where there is, I've lost my train of thought, but anyway, so you get what I mean. Right so, righty tighty, yeah, that's excellent. Um, I want, I, I still haven't been assessed yet. Um, I, you can, if there was any ever, ever any doubt that my kids were being taught well, <laughs> I have the proof. Um, I've taught my um, almost eight year old how to read and I've taught this little one how to read. And Not as much. I don't even know how to read cat. That's not read. true, you do. Right. <laughs> making a show of me. <laughs> you, do, you, you know how to read like two word sentences, three word sentences? I can. Three I letter words. I don't know how to spell love. 
We're jaded. We're That's okay. Ten. That's okay. You don't need to do that. You don't need to. This, you're still. You're still very young, Navy. You're still only five. Those things will come. Yeah, and when we five. And when we start doing high school. Your age. My age. I'm thirty-one. Thirty-one. <laughs> A lot older than you, right? <laughs> you can't be, you can't be, mommy. How old do you think I was? Uh, like 35 or something. <laughs> That's okay, 35 is still good, I don't mind. Um, so, I'm also drawn to unit studies. Um, I like the idea of creating my own unit studies. That's kind of where I was going for at the beginning. But again, I think where I am, just my nerves... Uh, just don't handle it like I can't I love the idea of unit studies and I think the kids would really enjoy it don't worry I can tighten it afterwards you can move on to the next one if you wish let's get too, get too difficult I like the idea of unit studies uh, insofar as they're interesting they're engaging there's a lot that you do and that's incorporated in it um, there there is a lot of work on my end involved in doing that and I don't mind doing that if I knew that it was gonna work but I guess where I'm nervous is if it's not gonna work it's a lot of effort and it's a lot of um can you open the window please? I've opened it a little bit mm, I might not open it anymore because then it'll be too windy it would be a lot of work to just to, to stop and then say oh no that was a waste of time and I don't want that to happen especially where my kids are educationally I don't want to and I see I'm just going to un unscrew this because remember when I said you have to do it straight on yeah. do you see like it's a little bit wonky love bug oh, that's okay it just cause it won't be sturdy if it's if it's wonky um, and <laughs> okay don't worry about it so um so yeah so so where my kids are educationally it's important for them to move forward to be clearly moving forward so i was looking into um i think i mentioned this before gather round and we're not putting them in and all of them to be hard so gather around homeschool and i someone actually mentioned i can download one of their um one of their like I think a week or something, and try it with the kids. What I do like about the gather round, or the, it's, it's basically um, a that. unit study that's already assembled. So what I like about the gather round, homeschool, okay, would you like to do this or should I do it both? Okay, what I like about the gather round homeschool is that my two levels could do it at the same time. So she's senior infant and then I have a second class or second grader well, which is I like kindergarten. To be sim or whatever. Junior infants. Yeah, junior infants. Yeah. I never forgot what but now you finished that one. You're too clever. <laughs> I was done like five days ago. No. <laughs> five days ago? No, it was six. No, it was a uh, no, you time. you were done like three months ago. You finished even before Hunter did. Three. You finished just after eight. Jaden still has a Hunter still has a lot to learn. Me, don't be rude. But he does. Everyone still has a lot to learn. You have a lot to learn too. And anyway, you're both entering the proper um, next level, so I'm happy about that. Um, so this chit chat isn't really working very well. I'm going off in tangents, and I'm getting really confused. Um. But the so the fact that I can do both of them at the same time actually appeals to me, especially because we're gonna have Micah in our homeschool next year, uh, like twenty twenty one. So he'll be junior infant, she'll be first class, and then I'll have a third classer. So I do like the fact that maybe it, it is more inclusive of all the ages that we can do it all together, um, but that it maybe might take less time because we're not stopping and starting that one's perfect one two three one perfect um <laughs> we're, we're, we're missing one of these maybe like you have one? Oh, no i lost it did you see it oh did i steal it sorry thank you well done for cat for finding it um so from that perspective you know i don't think it's necessary for kids to be constantly in school or constantly yeah. doing um, written work um, uh, but I do like to see the progression and so that's where I'm at uh, with the gather round I it's a lot more expensive 
I'm willing to invest in it if it is worthwhile. Um, I don't want to her being going into first class and my um other lad going into third class. I don't want to have them being um behind a year because I've taken a year out to do a unit study that actually doesn't work. If it doesn't work and I spent money on it, that I don't mind. That doesn't bother me. Um what bothers me is um failing my children. <laughs> I don't think I am going to fail them, but I think it's like just a mommy thing where you just don't, where if you're not 100% sure about something, you think you might actually be doing the wrong thing. And that's where I'm at. So I think I'm kind of at the stage where my heart wants to try unit studies or something like gather around or even something yeah, so Gather Around is the only one that I've seen that was kind of self-assembled. I know the that Mason is very similar, um, but again, that would be that's a lot more effort on my part to assemble the unit studies. Um, but but my head is saying, no, the good and the beautiful works. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I mean, for I'm watching one of uh, oh maybe that hurts, sweetie, when you push it into me. Okay, it's just because it's a corner. Um, one of the, my friends on Instagram, it, Worthypedia, I will link um, something below. She does unit studies, which I think are amazing with her kids. And it just seems like she has so many books. And I love that. And that re I really was drawn to that at the beginning. We started out um, trying Sunlight because it was very similar to that kind of style. It was very book focused, which is kind of Charlotte Mason unit study type. Um, but my eldest son hated it. And so I'm kind of, again, some of my nerves or my hesitation is, is it my learning style or teaching style that is drawn to, you know, the unit studies? Or do I actually think my kids are going to enjoy it and work well with them? And again, I'm, I'm like, do you enjoy what you enjoy, Boom? Well, I enjoy doing homeschool. <laughs> I know you do. And that's why I asked can we can I do homeschool on the summer? I know. We did this one or this one. Now it's all tightened up because I used it. All right. Um. So Just I think I'm gonna stop making stuff because I'm not able to concentrate, <laughs> and this is gonna take a lot, lot longer. Um. So basically. So that's where I'm at basically with um with next year well not next year because yeah so 2021 so right now we are 2020 we're definitely doing the good and the beautiful 2020 um I think I would like as much input as possible I'm going to definitely do um a week I've downloaded a week um sample free sample from gather round I'm going to try and slot that in at some point with our kids I know they also do a Christmas one so I'm gonna wait until uh, for some reason it's not available to buy right now Maybe. careful sweetie <laughs> um so Ryan Christmas time I am going to try and buy that and then I think that's four weeks and that will give us a good idea as to whether it's helpful or not um, and if I decide uh -huh. to take the plunge I guess the idea is to do one year and then make a decision after that because I will have my three um, kiddos. So if anyone has any information or, you know, any more experience with doing something that is more, um, circumvent is the word that's coming into my mind, but I know it's wrong. <laughs> it is not circumvent. Um, that's more inclusive of your whole family so that you can do with multiple ages and levels. Sweetie, <laughs> if they fall on my head, they'll actually hurt me. I know, and that wouldn't be nice, would it? No. No, but you can do it beside me if you want. Just not over my toes or my head. Um, something that will accommodate different ages, different levels, and is still progressing. <laughs> you have to do it higher. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and and the, that they're still progressing. Um, otherwise, it's that whole, I don't want to say this, better the devil you know, like, I'm not 
loving the good and the beautiful right now but i can see it's good for my children and it's working for me oh my goodness i literally thought that was a spider i moved it and my heart went <sighs> okay <laughs> literally um, that, that oh see i did that and it moved um so we will see for next for this year coming we are going to do the good and the beautiful and this missy moo is helping me make her desk so that it's ready for homeschool to start teaching. I got this yesterday. Yes, you did. And I like it. Yeah, and you're a girly girl, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> we say bye.